You about to record this as a podcast? Uh, uh, duh. Okay. Damn, I'm like too built for that. Hey, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. We coming to 2020. This is a new year. This is a new you. This is a new me. So if you haven't done already, man, get you another form of income in your pocket, my baby. Go ahead. Start recording the podcast, man. Shout out to Anchor, man. So don't pussyfoot around because it's free. There's creation tools to allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So you can be easily heard on, you know, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, all that other stupid dumb shit that niggas like to listen to motherfucking podcasts. And you can make some cheese from that podcast with no minimum listenership. So everything you need to make a podcast is all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. You punk bitch. About to record this as a podcast? Uh, uh, duh. Okay. Damn, I'm like too built for that. Good morning. Good evening, bitches. Good afternoon, good night. Or whenever the fuck y'all niggas like to listen to this shit, this is Meech. And, um, you know, this is the Meech and Spiff podcast, man. I know over the last few weeks or so, you know, I've been... You know, doing these by myself, man, just, you know, giving giving me, uh, you know, some time to reflect, uh, uh, a time of, you know, social distancing, you know, away from my nigga Spiff. But I'm going to tell you like this. Back in the building. We back up in this bitch like we putting on a jacket, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, this is motherfucking Meech and Spiff podcast. I'm Meech. I'm Spiff. And we came here to do what we do, how we do. I do what I do and I and I do <laughs> My nigga Spit Floor. What's the deal? Man, I can't lie, man. It's 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 good to be back in it's 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 good to be back in this apartment. It's good to be back on the on the motherfucking airwaves with you, my guy. Definitely. Man, you know over the last few weeks, man, I can't lie, man, a nigga a nigga was down cause man, I was so fucked up, man, creatively, man, and and you know, even even throughout that, you know, we kind of chat, you know, day to day. And I can't lie, man, niggas didn't got 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 through it. Yeah, man, that happens. Anytime you're trying to like create anything or just you know brainstorm and stuff, we we live regular lives, so it's so much, so many things that can distract from that creativity. So it's definitely a up and down process. Um, but the fact. the only thing you can really do is like just force yourself to do that shit. Like that's why I'm glad you put them pies out. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, even like I told the people before, like even if it's you know just me getting on here and just fart on the motherfucking <laughs> on the motherfucking mic, nigga, I gotta put something out, man. Got to do something. You know, I gotta express myself. I gotta keep the people up to date because you know niggas, you know certain niggas that actually like look forward to hearing from us, man. So that shit is always good to know. That's why I always show love to all twelve of the motherfucking Meechesville podcast listeners, nigga, on a weekly basis, man. Man, shout out to y'all, facts, man. Y'all, we we appreciate y'all. Y'all mean a lot to us. Facts, man. But before we get into motherfucking pie spiff, man, guess where we at? Where? We at the round table, also known as. The drug table. The spiff drug table, man. You know, you would you care to tell the people what we got on the drug table today? Man, we got um, some Douce, yes, Lemonade, sir. Family Fuel, mm-hmm. upcoming YouTube video coming yes, on sir. the concoction. Yes, we did it first, by the way. Um, <laughs> we got some Corona masks, uh, Xbox controllers, mm-hmm. a couple keys, the yeah. mics, of course. And a couple pre rolls. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shout out to RJ down there in 309 coming through with the pre rolls for niggas and shit. That nigga like 75. And I feel like he's a, you know, he's sweet. You could probably hit a lick, but don't do it on RJ, man. He's just trying to make a living, man. He's just trying to make a living. These young niggas be trying to test him. 
when they be when he be doing this thing and shit. I feel like he got an A under <laughs> the AR under the couch and shit. He got something going on because he be walking around this bitch way too motherfucking comfortable for me, Smith. I mean, when I'm an old nigga, bro, I hope I'm that comfortable. You feel me? I wish a nigga would. That's the vibe he got. Nigga, the the type of the type of situation, the type of you know things I want to do when it comes to my life, man. I can't see myself but being uncomfortable, you know, as an old nigga, man. If I'm an old motherfucker, cuz. And I ain't chilling, laying back, you know, my big ass crib with some with some bank in my motherfucking bank, bank. Mm-hmm. Nigga, what the fuck is we really doing this shit for? Exactly, man. Niggas ain't doing this shit just to entertain, nigga. I'm trying to get a fucking bag. Factuals. But, ah, uh, Spit, what, what we got going on, man? Man, so it's a lot of shit we got to... We got to tap in on. I know we have our daily conversations, but uh, we got to discuss this with the public. You feel me? Facts. So uh, the first thing I got on my docket, bro, like I was uh, on YouTube down a wormhole and I seen this nigga Johnny Dang. He's still out here selling jewelry. You feel me? Niggas is pulling up on him through the corona. I mean, is it me? Sometimes this motherfucking jury be looking kind of dilly as fuck, man. That shit don't be hit like no Eliante. I mean, they say his shit do look dilly, but they say, like, his shit is, like, top three. You feel me? It's like him, Eliante, and probably Ben. You feel me? Like, yeah. them Icebox niggas be having that foo foo. They shine, but it be foo foo. Nigga, they be putting that shit under the motherfucking special lights, cuz. I'm telling you, cuz, like, really. If you used to this shit, nigga, like, and your pops told me this. He was like, he was in the jewelry store, and he was looking at a diamond, and he seen it. He was like, cuz, I could see, like, the carpet through this shit. Mm. The jeweler told him, like, nigga, fuck all that sparkly shit, nigga. My diamond's so perfect, you feel me? Like, a good diamond, you gonna be able to see right through that bitch, you feel me? If it ain't no light on that shit, you should be able to see your fucking shoe. Flawless. Flawless. My nigga Michi pull that thing out his ear right now. I bet you got to see these motherfucking Vapor Maxes, nigga. (laughs) Oh, God. Listen, man. But, you know, niggas don't like to brag, man. But I'm bragging for you. Fuck that, (laughs) nigga. (laughs) Shout out to that nigga, man. Shout out to... What the fuck is we even talking about, Johnny Dang, man? Okay, so anyway, back on topic. So, I seen... uh, like Rod Wave and uh, the baby oh, and I've been bro so many times <laughs> I don't know what to believe. <laughs> and Stunner yeah. for Vegas pull up spending heli bands. You feel me? Yeah. So that brought me to a point. I was digging through YouTube through that same thing, and I stumbled upon uh, the Brilliant Idiots podcast. Shout out to Charlemagne and Andrew Schultz. That nigga Charlemagne say. It's a lot of niggas that you look up to mm-hmm. that's rappers that's going to be, like, taking loans out and shit, get refinancing in their homes and shit. They about to go broke. Like, the next show is probably, like, four to eight months away. I'm thinking we looking at... Niggas definitely going to carry as far as, like, doing shows shit and probably into 21, man. I ain't going to hold you up because... I didn't. I didn't think this shit was gonna carry on that long, and to the point we almost in June, and niggas are still doing like the whole social distancing shit. But I ain't, nah, niggas didn't really expect that shit. But I agree with you, Spiff, man. I think these niggas are really gonna be fucked up with this whole like Corona shit, man. Because a lot of these niggas is used to a consistent bag. Mm-hmm. Niggas is used to like taking you know a couple weekends off the month. And I know these niggas are pulling out motherfucking bank. I know niggas that's making 10, 20 G's a show. Mm-hmm. So if you're doing, you know, three shows, you know, every week, man, you bringing in 60 home, it's like, and now you, you're you not able to do that? Niggas gonna be really fucked up, cuz. And for the record, I don't wish no financial hardship on nobody. But you gotta be smart with it. These niggas that's new to the game and shit, getting their streaming money. <clears throat> You feel me? And just used to that consistent flow of, uh, uh, of doing shows. Like, that nigga Baby said he was like, I need 200 every mm-hmm. time, you know, he show up to something. Guess nigga, what? Nigga, you can't. <laughs> 200 where? 200 where? 200 where, cuz. Because you ain't able to do that. 
So whatever deal that you got that you signed with your record label, and I don't know how niggas is getting paid now as far as like the streams or whatever, mm-hmm. and who they got to break down sh- shit with. Like Pusha T say, you signed to one nigga that signed to another nigga that signed by three niggas. Now that's bad luck. So you might be paying five niggas before you even see a check. So, hey man, niggas better be humble around this bitch, man. Last time I checked, a million streams is only worth like thirty two hundred. You feel me? That's tough. So if you ain't doing them numbers on the streams and you can't do no shows, God bless you. You feel me? I hope you invest in bro or doing something or coming up with innovative ways to like that's why you see all these rappers with like mm. YouTubes and shit now and all that shit. What they gonna I mean? do, Spiff? I don't know, man. Niggas <laughs> hey, like my nigga Safari said, he like, you better subscribe to my only fans. I'm telling you. And is it really that bad to where like these rappers gotta go out here and do <laughs> get only fans? Because Safari not the only one. Nigga, I seen on uh, Instagram, my nigga uh, Casanova was, you know, telling fat bitches to subscribe to his OnlyFans. So it's like, nigga, is that what we succumb to, man? I mean, I can't tell you what I would do in that position because I've never that come nigga into still that. dropping the OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> that, that amount of money. But I wouldn't be going into Johnny Dang or Eliante and getting hundred thousand dollar chains and shit. That's what I wouldn't be doing for nah, a fact. Hell no, nah, cause so you ain't doing OnlyFans. I'm not gonna do no OnlyFans unless I got a bitch that's down. Cause I'm gonna be fucking a dog shit out that bitch. <laughs> Nigga, I'm, I'm I already got my OnlyFans, so you know make sure you just uh, subscribe to my OnlyFans uh, at Daddy Meach. We gonna plug the link into this one when you put it on, but yeah, subscribe to my man's OnlyFans. But carrying on, man, don't be out here spending your fucking money, man. Save it. So, speaking of Charlemagne, that nigga recently did an interview with that nigga Joe Biden. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna break it down for him? Because I got an opinion, but I need you to roll it out for me. Paint the picture. All right, man. So, and I'm going a, I'm to a try to break it down to y'all, you know, and as simple as I can, man. All right. So, they had, like, a breakfast club, you know, type of one-on-one with Joe Biden and Charlemagne. You know, before the... <sighs> I don't know how to spiff. I don't even know how to how to even really say it, man. Before the interview end with with Charlemagne and, and Biden, I guess in a way he said that um, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black, or if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. Like, mm-hmm. I I just wanted to slap the shit out of him. Like, what the fuck do being black got to do with who the fuck you want? And don't want to vote for So To give it a little To be a little bit more like granular about it You know what I'm saying That's kind of like some high level thinking you're talking about right there But just to go in a a little bit more depth Mm -hmm. Basically Charlemagne was asking that nigga like Well We expect things from you to, To do from the black community And how will you be Getting our vote You feel me 1.3 1.3 million people, black people, voted for Donald Trump in 2016. I want to know these people. They out there, you feel me? They they are definitely out there. But And then Joe Biden goes on to say, well, if you not voting for me and I got to convince you, I'm paraphrasing, you ain't black. My thing is, before you get into it, because I see you getting <laughs> riled up. You feel me? All right. So this is the thing. I'm gonna take it back to 2008. So they gave us our black president. You feel me? Shout he served two, two terms. Shout out to OBZ. Obama runs on deck. We got him. <laughs> Four PF <laughs> for, for sure, for sure. So it comes to 2016, and uh, Donald Trump is running. And he's being radical. He's saying whatever the fuck comes to mind. Uh, you know, being very controversial. Controversial And it's a saying that says Well it's no such thing as bad press And that shit got them in the White House I feel like Most of this shit that we see on social media The news 
any type of entertainment is scripted. It's an algorithm for it. And I mm-hmm. feel like Joe Biden just taking that same algorithm because he want to be in the White House so bad, you feel me? And I feel like it's all about who got the best show, you feel me? So Absolutely. If this, if you got a proven formula or a proven business model that works, why would you negate from that? You don't reinvent the wheel. You throw rims on that motherfucker, you feel me? I mean, that's just the time that we in, man. I feel like in this whole social media driven world and the whole trolling thing, it's like a lot of these things that I that I hear these politicians do and, and say is like all for shock value. And like just explain to the fucking people that what you gonna do, like stop beating around the bush and all that bullshit, man. If you could, if you got some plans and initiatives to do for us, man, I want to see it. I want I want you to I want you to tell me what they are, man. Not don't give me no bullshit ass answer. If you vote for this nigga, you know you ain't black, nigga. Nigga, you ain't black. Period. What the fuck is you talking about, exactly. white man? You just trying to like the way I see it. The, his only chance of winning is if he get that eighteen through twenty nine vote black. You feel me? And guess what? And what a lot of us are starting to really see, especially, especially from Joe Biden, Spiff, he ain't got it all the way up there because. Definitely not. Uh, you know, he, I feel like he done lost a couple brain cells since last time Obama was in office, big dog. Man, that nigga crazy as fuck. I wish my nigga Bernie would have got in, but. um. He too old, bro. Yeah, he, he already too had a heart he attack too, before like, the end of this bitch. I don't think that nigga could do four in the White House with all that stress, bro, let alone eight, bro. Exactly. <laughs> we we could kill that nigga single-handedly. Yeah, Detroit to Michigan. Yeah. Like, Come on, man. Obama runs, man. Uh, but you got to have some type of mental capacity to like really deal with that shit. And like mm-hmm. I was alluding to, Joe Biden ain't got it all up. All the way up top, man. When you turn into your, when you introducing, introducing your, your your daughter and your wife, and you look at your wife and be like, "That's my sister." And shout out to my wife to the right, nigga. You got some mental issues going on up there, man. Definitely, definitely, man. I feel like we fuck. <laughs> we fuck for another eight. Period. Like, cause, okay, say Trump more than likely is gonna get reelected. We gonna have a new like after he served his second term. Mm-hmm. We gonna have two new people running. You feel me? And them niggas is probably gonna be on the same shit. You feel me? It's gonna be some young progressive type of people. Yeah. They're gonna be trying to do some extreme type of shit. I feel it. That nigga really, if he was smart, he either need to hire a black woman as his running mate or Big Gretch. Shout out to Big Gretch, man. If he, I swear to God, if he get Big Gretch behind him, he gonna take over like probably the whole Midwest. Yeah, man, because she's she still is one of those governors that's really trying to really keep us in the house. Like I understand like the whole quarantine and and being in the house and the social distance, the distancing shit. I understand all of that, and it's really people out here that's really. Um, kind of upfront with the, like they hold political values just off the whole you know wear a mask or not wear a mask. We know who the ones that don't want to wear a mask, and we know who the ones who want to wear the, the mask. The Karens don't want to wear the mask, <laughs> right? The, the the Karens that's out here you know throwing chicken biscuits at motherfucking bitches and motherfucking red lobster because she got a wave in mind, man. That's what I'm saying, like, man. Come this on, shit is man. ridiculous, bro. Like the world is really. Exposing itself like to as racist, you feel me? We've been knew it, we've been seeing the videos, you know, people getting shot down for no reason and the police brutality and shit like that. Yeah. But it's so much not even undertones of racism right now, it's just straight like, up, it's it just straight up is. racism, bro. Where it's blatant and niggas don't give a fuck because it's so much in entitlement going on right now with the Karens, like. We we going to get a second wave of this corona shit just because of the Karens and racism. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. So, shout out to all uh, half of Detroit. 
That's down there in Atlanta, out here fucking around at them clubs and shit, man. Don't bring no fucking Ronies back, man. Stay your bitch ass there all the time. Man, stay your ass in the house, man, unless you're trying to do a dog-ass podcast like this one. <laughs> then <laughs> you, you can me? risk it, because hey, we need that bad. And make sure, man. Hey, man, we got them old fucking YouTubes popping, so follow us. Subscribe to the channel, Meech and Spiff, on the YouTubes. Dusty Wait. bitch. <laughs> Speaking of racism, though, what I do say? I was over here. Shout out to uh, Hoven B, man. Family Fuse over here, man. Uh, if you need the recipe, the drink recipe, we got a video coming out uh, on YouTube very soon. Um, if not, if we really fuck with you, you can email meat and spiff pie at gmail dot com to get the recipe. All 12 of y'all All 12 of y'all motherfuckers man Niggas ain't ready for that But just touching on racism a little bit more Are you familiar with that Doja Cat situation man Nigga I just got familiar with that shit today I ain't gonna hold you up Smith I've been doing a little research on it During the past like three days and shit I've seen a lot of Twitter threads and been on YouTube to do some research and shit like that. And it's sad, but I'm not surprised. Like, before we get into that, like, as a black man, do you, like, get surprised when you see some, like, blatant racism? At this point, no, nah, man. I'm so desensitized when I see, when I experience that shit and when I see on social media all 24-7, because. So. Let me ask you. I'm a yeah. question back to you. Uh, nah, I'm kind of like, I really don't. I give a fuck, but when it's towards me, I know how to move around it. I feel yeah. like it is racist people out here. You feel me? We already know that white people and Chinese, whatever ethnicity, look at black people us. like like we shit or whatever the case may be. But I fi- I do feel like we push ourselves. Back when we allow these people into our culture and we use it as an excuse mm-hmm. to not really do shit to put ourselves in the box, you feel me? Yeah. If this shit been going on for 500 plus years, somebody got to know, know how to finesse through the situation, you feel me? At the end of the day. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Man, I guess... And I was talking on it. I was talking about some shit on the, the last on my little solo podcast that I do, man. And it's like sometimes I feel like the best thing is to, to ignore some of the fuck shit that's going on out here, man. Definitely, man. You gotta you gotta push through the bullshit, nigga. Like we from the east side, so I know how to finesse. Regardless, yeah. like my finesse used to be a little bit different back in the day, but you gotta apply that to what you doing currently. You feel me? Niggas let a whole, like, they meant to, like, some bullshit that's going on out here. And it don't even fucking apply to you, man. Exactly, man. Stop. I think the biggest thing for black people and our culture, we got to stop letting these niggas in our culture, bro, like, so easily. Just because they on a big platform. They making mm-hmm. money off of us, bro. Like, we got to keep that shit in-house as much as possible, bro. We got to support each other more. And as know? much as keep it in-house, nigga, keep whatever in your house, in your motherfucking house, man. Don't be out here telling your business out here. Nigga, stop Instagramming live and, you know, your, your baby daddy cheating on you. Nigga, stop going on Facebook live slapping your next door neighbor, nigga. We got we to gotta start doing better for ourselves. We got to start... Wanted to want more for ourselves, nigga. Stop putting that bullshit out here for social media, nigga. I done seen, nigga, I done seen over the last, like, <laughs> week so much mommy daddy issues, nigga. I didn't, fuck, nigga, the whole Doja Cat is a fucking daddy issue, nigga. It's a, it's a deep rooting daddy issue. issue. Like, you don't, you don't like yourself because your daddy didn't love you. Exactly. So now you want to shit on motherfucking black, black man, bitch. But you making a living. Off of what we do Come on man man. Like How you feel about it Do you want to give a little background to the situation Nigga I feel like like we said man I I really didn't know much much about it I've been seeing a lot of people talking about like Cancel Doja Cat 
So I have to go to the source anytime. You know, if I'm doing research on anything, I make sure I go to, you know, people that understands everything, man. You know, if I wanted to know something about film, I'm a holla at Spiff. If I want to know something about uh, weed stocks, I'm going to call my nigga Clarence. But I called motherfucking Lil Lee. I was like, I've been seeing her tweet about the whole Doja Cat situation. And she was like, oh, yeah, that bitch was a whole hoe <laughs> for sure. Like... I'm guessing her father was a singer, African. I think he was from South Africa. I could be wrong. North Africa, West Africa, wherever the fuck. Shout out to Elon Musk. My nigga. And I guess he was famous. He didn't fuck with her as a as a child, so she had the whole, you know, uh, daughter, daddy issues type of shit. And so she fucked with these online chats. And from what she said, uh, Lil Lee said she was on a, a, a tiny chat, you know, uh, with predominantly, you know, white male. And they on there doing freaky shit. She's showing ass and titties and puss and all that extra shit. And they talking about black men. And she was like, yeah, I don't fuck with them motherfuckers either, too. So, I'm guessing my thing is, is like... What what issue did you have with your father for you to say you don't fuck with these black niggas just because one black nigga fucked you over? It be underlying, bro. It ain't even... I mean, it's definitely about that, but niggas don't be, like, especially, like, mixed children. And I hate to use that term. They, have, they don't identify with anything, you feel me? They got to decide whether they... Black or white. Come on, but man. we're the only race that does this. You can shit. look at Doja Cat hips and know she black all the That's way. That's what my I'm baby. saying, bro. Like the sad thing is, like we the only race that do that shit. Like niggas, like them white people be mixed with whatever. You feel me? Them yeah. Chinese people be mixed with whatever. But you got a hint of black in you. Oh, I'm mixed. Oh, I'm mixed. No, I'm black. You feel me? If I wanted a motherfucking, what's that shit where they do the uh, heritage oh, report the, the, and shit? The 23s and me's. Yeah, the 23s and me's. If I wanted one of those, I would have asked, nigga. Like, you feel me? Like, but it's black people that's totally black that don't like themselves and don't like being black. You yeah. feel me? Like, I can operate in a room full of any race. You feel me? I, I can find common ground with anybody, but you gonna know I'm black. Yeah. You gonna know I'm fucking black and I'm proud of that shit, bro. Absolutely. Man, this bitch is like she hopping in group chats and shit, doing whatever for the white man. You feel me playing with her own shit. Oh you know And I uh, wanna see it. She fucking stripping for these white races and shit. A, a black dude hopping in the chat, she was dogging them. Dog and doggy. She made a song back in the tray. I mean, I'm hearing this about Mike Brown and or Sandra Bland and shit called didn't do nothing like and then another thing and I hate to go on the rant like didn't do nothing D I D N U <laughs> that's some ghetto ass N U F F I N I had to go on Urban Dictionary to figure that shit out like y'all creating new racial terms like every other day like racial slurs and shit like chill that shit out bro like but. She made a song about something didn't do nothing and all that shit, bro. Like, stop it. To go out your way, to, like, be intentionally, like, hateful to somebody, I don't fuck with it. I hope you don't make no more money off of anything. I hope that, you know, like, you could fall off a fucking bridge, bitch, you scum. Like, I hate you. <laughs> well, I don't hate you, but... Spiff, I'm going to tell you like this, because, and a lot of a lot of this shit is only going on because niggas ain't got better else shit to do be. And to be completely honest with you, nigga, I remember when, if you remember back, um, Sabrina Claudio, mm -hmm. and she was on Twitter calling people niggas and all this Dude. shit, tweeting about niggas uh -huh. like, niggas ain't shit, <laughs> like, uh -huh. all this bullshit, uh -huh. nigga, okay. Nigga, niggas forgot about that shit. We still was playing her shit. Nigga, I was listening to a song with Sir the other day. Nigga, singing my ass off, nigga. I feel you. But Doja Cat is like, she kind of like early in her traction. Like, she just got a number yeah. one. 
And then not to speak on, she be like biting other people's style. Like her number one, well, it, I don't know if it's number one right now or it's top five. Or, I don't know, man. It's a lot of shit going on with this whole Billboard shit. She kind of like stole that whole song from a whole nother artist and shit. Like the whole thing didn't ask to clear the sample. For real? None of that shit. I like that whole that say before. so. Nigga, I went through a whole fucking deep ass Twitter thread, bro. Like. Like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. That sound like a fire ass Hollister song, cause I feel like I be in a fucking Hollister store. I wanna say so, nigga. That shit kind of hard. <laughs> she stole the 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 instrumental, the melody. The only thing she put to it was uh, like her own lyrics to it, but she stole that song for sure. That bitch fine, cause I don't give a fuck, man. She can hate niggas all she want. If she like me, I like her. He don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I need a PS5. That's crazy. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Damn. Speaking of that shit, man. The PS5, man. Nigga. What you gonna do for it? Nigga. Um, what you gonna do for that PS5? It's a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know what turns you on. Nigga, I'm gonna be doing all types of foul, nasty shit if, if I get a PS5. Cause, <laughs> nigga. So... All right, Spiff. PS5 coming out, nigga. I'm hearing this shit gonna cost maybe about five, six, seven, eight, eight nine hundred dollars, man. Mm-hmm. You got you, you got you a shorty, man. She she come knock on the door, man. She dropping that PS5 off to you. Mm-hmm. What you doing with that, man? What what you gonna do for that woman, man? Whatever she has, I'm eating butt. I'm sucking <laughs> toes, nigga. Everything. Getting lace front Chanel bags. That's nigga. it. Paying off her credit card debt, <laughs> nigga. Sally Mae student loans, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna pay a couple months of that. You feel me? Whatever, nigga. Like it don't matter. I'm sitting down with her parents and shit. <laughs> Come on, you now. feel me? All that shit. Fuck around. <laughs> what you gonna do, nigga? Nigga, I'm doing everything and above, man. I ain't gonna hold you up, man. I've been subliminally like uh <laughs> tweeting my baby mama. <laughs> and I'll be like, hey Spiff, anytime you see some motherfucking PS5 like type of shit, nigga, just retweet it, like it. And I'ma just retweet that shit, nigga. Come I mean, I've been helping you out. I've been laying a few traps. Like, hey, oh, retweet man. this, bro. Retweet this, bro. It. As much as I want it, nigga, I really don't want it. I just be wanting I just want something to take my mind off of that damn family, man. They be getting my damn nerves, cuz. Man, I feel <laughs> you, man. You gotta have some type of escape though, but Nigga, you got to be careful with that shit, because yeah. the same way it'll come into your life, it'll get broken up in pieces and shit. You get too distracted with that motherfucker. That's a fact, man. Shit. It is what it is, though. Man, email us, man. What you going to do for that PS5, man? I, I want to know what's your strategies of securing this this fine piece of uh, Japanese machinery. I almost want to call it cuz, man. Marvelous. I ain't talked to my baby in a long time anyway, man. Man, call him up, man. I should, man. I'm about to call this nigga right now. Call okay. that nigga, man. Talk about some shit. Until I call him. Mar- yeah, man. So, um, uh, anyway, I seen some disturbing shit. It's like some confusing shit on Twitter, bro. Hold like, on. All right. We calling him. Okay, we calling him. Never mind. You know, he good for an answer, man. Yeah, I ain't talking to him answer. anyway. Come on, nigga. Niggas is chilling. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> That's how the nigga answer the phone. <laughs> alright. Alright, alright. Watch that nigga call back like... 10 minutes while we into some <laughs> shit. What was you about to say, Spiff? I was about to say that shit you sent me on Twitter with that nigga, uh, that nigga accusing Jay Z of <laughs> stealing <laughs> that nigga's soap, bro. <laughs> what the fuck was that nigga shit about? Said, bro? Nigga, I know you stole my aloe vera soap, nigga. <laughs> 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 what the fuck was dog talking about? Dog, I don't know what the fuck, nigga. I just saw that shit on motherfucking uh on Twitter and shit. I I had to send it to my nigga, dog. Cause my nigga Jay Z was looking, he was sounding so perplexed, man. <laughs> he was just sounding so off. He was like, what the fuck is this nigga? Hey, Guru, what is this nigga talking about? He was like, nigga, look, it was you and a couple <laughs> other niggas. I already counted them out of the equation. It was you. I know it was you, bro. Why you do it, bro? 
Dog, that shit was so motherfucking funny because this nigga, honestly, if we all be honest with ourselves, this nigga Jay is like a fucking cornball. And he's definitely like awkward as fuck, man. Definitely. He's like a big, lanky, awkward, like, <laughs> nigga for real. And while he was in that bitch with Guru, it was like, he was really like legit, like fucking confused. Like, what are you talking about, man? Like, what? Jay, you, you know you was motherfucking took my nigga soap, nigga, wash your ass. My nigga <laughs> right, shit, why girl? you taking that nigga shit, man? What the fuck is you doing? The only really, that was just some goofy ass shit, but the only thing I took out of that shit is that nigga was in the stool. Definitely. With that nigga guru, you know what that means. Know what that mean? Listen, man. Are we as in today, man? Are we really looking for another Hove album right now, though? I don't know about you, but I am definitely. What more do he have to say that he haven't said already? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he can come up with something. I just yeah. need good music, cause. Doing this corona shit, niggas has been dropping a lot of music. And I say 75% of that shit has been dirt. You feel me? I agree. It's a, it's a lot of microwave shit that niggas is putting out just for the bag, man. And that's what I'm saying. So I need a whole album. You need, you know, put me in perspective, man. Like, what's going on, bro? Like, we know you just got a big B. Mm-hmm. You know, we you face scrutiny for signing that deal with the NFL. You feel me? Niggas is paying uh, allegedly to get number one billboard spots. I need your input. That shit crazy, man. I need your input, bro. What are you doing? You qu- I want to know what he quarantined. Like, how I mean, he quarantining it right now? I mean, honestly, there is a lot of game. and It's a lot of wisdom that Hove has. Mm-hmm. But I want to know, like, what more can he say as a damn near, what are you, 50? 50-something? Yeah. yeah, about 50-something. Like, I want to know how he's staying up with times and how he's relating to things, man, because you talking about, like, a lot of people, a lot of rappers that's on right now that's half his age, even mm-hmm. less than that. So it's like, I don't know how that's all that shit going to really relate to us today, though. Man, any time Hove drop, he always say some shit that we need to hear, bro. That's all I'm saying. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I Even mean, though I, I feel like that that four four sh- that four 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 shit, mm-hmm. you know, we still got some time to like really grow mm-hmm. because we haven't really reached that type of status yet. Even though yeah. we, you know, on our way to, mm-hmm. but I, I'm just I don't know, man. I just I just hate to to have a lot of this shit, a lot of this game just go over the top of niggas' heads, man. I mean, it usually does, though, so would it be any different, bro? And that Mm -hmm. nigga ain't even got to drop no, like, full album. Give me eight songs, bro. I'm straight. Give me eight songs. That's what a lot of niggas are doing nowadays. They either dropping, like, eight or 28. Yeah. Nigga, I'm so damn tired of looking at niggas' albums and that shit, like, 28 songs long. Bro, if you... If I... Get an album and shit, and it's twenty eight songs, bro. I'm I don't got the space on my iPhone, bro. Like I'm not downloading that shit. Did you uh Did you listen to that nigga Gunner shit? I did not, bro. That nigga dressing like a motherfucking fifty year old woman <laughs> and shit with some money who just got a bag that hit the lottery. That shit, and shit. crazy. I don't really fuck with Gunner like that though. Like he got some cold shit here and there, man. He got some cold shit here and there, but I think I probably got maybe about. Five or six songs in, and I think he, I think he had another one of those albums where it's like twenty some tracks and shit. Mm-hmm. But it's just not for me, man. And I, I feel like I'm getting old, Spiff. I feel like a lot of this shit is just not for me anymore, man. It's really not. I be trying to keep up with the times, but if it's dirt, it's dirt. Which <laughs> kind of brings me to my next point, man. How do you feel about the state of Detroit hip hop right now or Detroit rap? And how do we need to proceed from where we are right now? Man, I love it, man. I love Detroit rap, man. You know, as a as a young ghetto nigga myself, it's a lot of shit that I grew up on. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And, you know, shout out to the Street Lord Wines, the Blade Icewoods. Free that, man. You know, growing into my adolescence, we had the Tone Tones and the, um, uh, what's my man's name? Cato. We had Cato. Mm -hmm. And then just getting into my adulthood, we had the, the payrolls, the peasies, man, and, uh, to, to put you up on that ball shit. And then we circle back to the Street Lord Wines. But I like Detroit music, man. I feel like it's a lot of promise. It's still a lot that the industry is still haven't tapped into yet. You know, shout out to Dave. Uh, Dave, I know her shit just came out recently, but, man, it's a, it's a lot of game out here, man, that I feel like a lot of niggas are really sleeping on, Spiff, and I'm sure you agree with me. You know, shout out to Babyface, Ray, and the GTs and shit like that. So how do we, how would you proceed? Like, say you a mm -hmm. label exec, you got your own label, and you trying to push... <clears throat> Detroit music to the mainstream on some like TDE type shit. I feel like a lot of shit is just maintaining who you are and just being yourself. Because one thing, you just gotta tap into that lane that's just yours. As far as when we when we look at TDE, we expect like some, you know, some some conscious type of rap that's gonna hit you with some motherfucking bars. You feel me? You know, everybody got their whole niche. You feel me? So I feel like what Detroit has to do is just be Detroit. I feel like if a lot of niggas just put a little bit more, you know, uh, money into into their craft, it'd be a lot better than what it is. If you had to put your last dollars on the artist and, and back them and push them forward, who would that be? Right now, I would mm -hmm. say the ones that's right there on the edge of, like, really blowing up for real is probably Sada. If if I had just a couple more extra dollars, I'd probably put it on Sada right now. Man, that nigga different, bro. That nigga's yeah. different. I was I revisited that that Kenny Beats freestyle when he was in the cave. Yeah. I was in the comments. Hella comments like I ain't never heard of this nigga, but that nigga that different. nigga going, man. Like this nigga metaphors and references is crazy, you feel me? Like that nigga definitely different. Um, I hope he didn't sign with that nigga Sauce Walker. Walker, how you yeah. what's that nigga name? Sauce Walker. Yeah, like I seen him, you know, put the nigga put the chain on side and shit like that. I hope he ain't do that I shit. I think but. I think the 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 only thing that they got going on is because if I know Sada is signed to Asylum, mm -hmm. and Sauce Walker might be signed to Asylum as, as well too. So I'm assuming that's like some label on label type shit, mm -hmm. but. I don't see myself, as far as Insada's case, you know, getting under another nigga label at the, at the same time, too, in which he just got out of that shit that he had with T. Grizz. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that nigga Sada different, bro. I hope he making the right decisions because he, I feel like if he did, that's a lesson he already learned. Like, you moving backwards. But I definitely would put my money on Sada. Because uh, there's a lot of these niggas that's out here. Like, don't get me wrong, man. You know, Payroll is probably like my favorite rapper. You know, in the, uh, you know, in Detroit. But I feel like he's an OG now. He really ain't doing this shit for like for like the whole monetary shit. I feel like he just doing that shit just because. Cause he got he got his hands on so many different bags, and his bitch is rich as fuck too. So I feel like he just doing that shit just for the sport of it. Definitely. The only thing I ask from Detroit is like we I don't think we need to negate from the production, but we need to explore it a little bit more, bro. Cause like like say for instance, I texted you last night, I was like, You ever heard of this nigga named Cash Kid? You was like, Yeah, yeah woo woo. I like Shout him. He, he do this, he do that, but I fuck with him, you feel me? But for me, when I'm exploring a, a Detroit artist for the first time, if I hear that same type of production, bro, like, I can't get into it because it's been done, bro. Like, I like it, but at the same time, we oversaturating. Yeah. You feel me? I need different niggas in multiple different bags, like, music-wise, production-wise. Yeah. I mean, it, it it is definitely about, you know, expanding the sound. You know, mm -hmm. it's... 
there's so many of these Detroit beats you can like keep rapping on, man. Mm-hmm. You know, we want to hear you on some Metro shit. We want to hear you on some Kenny Beats type shit. Mm-hmm. We want to just want to see you in a different bag. So I definitely agree with you, though, Spit. Definitely, man. I just, I don't know, man. I just want to see Detroit win for sure. And it's coming. It's coming. It's, I feel like, despite what, whatever, everything is going on with the whole corona shit, man, a lot of these niggas be out here moving and grooving with the best of them right now. Definitely. Because everybody fuck with us. And a lot of niggas be still in our flow and shit, too. Absolutely. But, man, shout out to y'all, man. I ain't even know Dage uh, dropped a new project. How you feel about it? Man, I haven't heard it yet, but I'm going a, I'm to a listen to it. I'm curious. I'm going to try Because to I seen the song that she got on there. She got Baby Money, which is from uh from the city. Mm-hmm. Tay B and uh, Baby's World. I think he from this, he from the city, too. Yeah, yeah. So she, she got some ghetto niggas on there that be talking that shit, though. So I'm curious. Do you think Dave Lopez ever reached that, like, superstar potential? Like, reach our superstar potential? I don't know, man. Because anytime I kind of try to peep her steez and, you know, and see whatever the fuck she got going on, she kind of try to keep up that, that mystique about herself. It's like she kind of leave, a, like, a mysterious type of feel. Like, she, I feel like she famous as fuck, but she just don't want to accept the fact that she famous as fuck. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I feel like she don't want that type of burden as far as, like, being on, on for real. I feel you, man. It's coming soon, man. Let's take a little quick drink break, man. Gather ourselves real quick. Hell yeah. Hey, man. Peep gang. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? Shit, when when I was trying to get this podcast off the ground with Spiff, man, we had a lot of questions, man. Like, how do I record an episode? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen? Also, how do I how do I make money off this podcast, man? Man, peep game. The answer to every one of those questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors, too, so you can get paid to podcast, man. Secure the bag. Listen, man, me and, me and Spiff, man, we ain't, we ain't come here to get paid off this, man. We just wanted everyone to enjoy, you know, and listen to our convos and stories about, you know, our upbringing. But why not get paid for it? You know what I'm talking about? So... If you always wanted to start a podcast, make money doing it, go to anchor.fm slash start. Again, that's anchor.fm slash start to join me, Spiff, and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. And guess what, man? We can't wait to hear your podcast, man. So, hey, that's it. Yo, 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 Spiff Lord. What's the deal? Man, what what what's the category of porn that you're looking at these days, man? Man, I really been on that OnlyFans, man. <laughs> and before y'all niggas get the uh, talking shit, I don't pay for that shit. No, no, no. Niggas got to get the finesse. Shout out to She's Freaky, man. Yeah. Please sponsor us or Pornhub, man. Either one or both would be just fine. Yeah, man. But, nigga... I was on motherfucking Twitter the other day, man, and I saw, you know, porno bitch, you know, Aaliyah Hadid, you know, she she's heavy on the, um, you know, the OnlyFans type tip, man. And recently, it was her boyfriend's birthday. I'm pretty sure he's probably the talent in her motherfucking OnlyFans. But um, she gave this nigga 22 racks for his 22nd birthday, man. Is niggas really getting cheese like that off the OnlyFans, bro? Is niggas capping, bro? No, if they can give John Stockton face as uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jules, <laughs> nigga, fifteen racks in a month, I think niggas is eating, and she ain't even showing no ass on that bitch. That's the shit that like kind of it kind of overwhelms me. Like I'm perplexed, cause nigga, who the fuck? 
like it's subscribing to OnlyFans and they ain't showing no ass and no titties, bro. Right. Like, I can see if you pay for the shit and then they ain't showing no ass, no titties, and then you like, oh, let me cancel my subscription. Mm -hmm. But niggas is staying dedicated to some shit they can see on their Instagram. These hoes Instagram, that shit is beyond me. That shit is beyond me, cause. But I ain't gonna hate though, man. Make your money how you make your money, bro. But like. This shit is like some shit we should have been thought about, bro. This is a platform where niggas is doing whatever the fuck they want to, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, it's supposed to be like niggas just paying for news, basically, and videos and shit, which I'll never do. Never, ever, 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 ever. But how long do you think this OnlyFans is going to be around? And do you think, like, niggas can make M's off this shit? I definitely believe niggas can make M's off this bitch for sure. Um, depending on how long it's gonna be around, I think we are going into a new a new digital age of like hoeing. Mm-hmm. So you can be a nigga that's on the East Coast in New York to want to see some freaky shit from a bitch that that's on the West Coast and, and fucking Cali, man. So that's just another way of all this shit just being digital, just us getting into a new a new time, man. This shit this shit ain't gonna stop, man. What they said the oldest the oldest form of getting money is fucking a hoeing, nigga. I'm telling you, nigga, sex sales that should have never go out of style. I've said that before. I'll say it again. That's a fact, man. So as long as bitches out here that just want to go out here and show they pussy for everybody, man, this shit gonna be here forever. Cause damn, man. Speaking on which, man, what's your plans with your only fans, man? What you oh man. Hey, I'm going to tell you like this, like this, like that. Um, <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to, you know, my followers on my OnlyFans and shit. You know, this ain't for no niggas, man. You know, I ain't doing this shit for the niggas, man. Of course this, not. You know, it's straight for the hoes and shit, you feel me? You know, I'm on my I'm on my shit, man. You know, all gray sweatpants, man, Nike tape, the tight ones, man. So y'all can see what I'm working with, man. I feel you. I feel but I'm, I'm just leading niggas with that because I, I ain't trying to, you know. Fuck up our male listeners of the podcast. I mean, what's your <laughs> sales projections, man? Right now, I I made I made three bucks, man. <laughs> you know, that's one subscription, man. But we are on our way, cause yeah, hey, we on our way, bro. Fuck it, nigga. That three about to turn into three hundred thousand. Come real on, man. Quick, man. Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. That shit crazy, man. This whole new generation of like hoeing in the new generation itself, bro, is just kind of like. Out of pocket, but I enjoy watching from afar. I love this shit, man, because just seeing the type of people that we are, and just seeing the the type of people that's coming up, uh, you know, below us, and the ones that you know our elders that we look to, man, it's just funny on just how looking at all of these different types of times are starting to blend, man. And I feel like we had this conversation before because I was telling you, or you was telling me about. Some shit that Solo was into And I was like man these, You know these young niggas is different nowadays Phil, man. These ain't the same little niggas man Man you know who I'm Very skeptical about Who? These late 99 Early 2000s Babies bro. Nigga, they, they are fucking dangerous fuck. nigga. Bro like they shit is so Fucked up right now Bro like What's your take on it? Cause I'm scared of this shit, bro. Nigga, my take on it is that these niggas grew up while Future was like popping, <laughs> so it's like a lot of these motherfuckers is like dope fiends and like crack babies and shit for real. Bro, we about to see a decline and like births and <laughs> all that shit. These niggas is trying to get money, That's fuck it. hoes, and then vice versa. Like the hoes is trying to like. Just use niggas for what they got, and it's a cycle, bro. Like I'm scared I mean, of that shit. I mean, can you blame them though? Like the, the the shit that's popping right now is like the whole city girl shit. So they only going to be, you know, what they see on TV or what they think is cool and shit. So every nigga out here want to be a swiper, scammer, and drug addict at the same time. Mm-hmm. And these bitches want to use niggas for swiping and and hoeing and shit. So. I mean, are we wrong? I mean, I don't know, bro, but, like, in 20, like, 
motherfucking 30, bro. Like, these niggas, if these is the niggas that's got to propel us forward, bro, like, we, we fuck. fuck. <laughs> we fuck. No bro. rap cap. I ain't we seen fuck. the Elon Musk yet. I'm telling you, these niggas is trying to do drugs. Everybody want to be a fucking comedian. They Everybody want to be a comedian. And niggas they want to drink swipe. 1942 every day. Every day in that whole ass of zoo. <laughs> you feel me? Niggas trying to just live like every day like it's last. Uh, it's they last. That's why I feel like we was like kind of like the last hope for the world. Yeah. <laughs> like... When they look at, like, millennials, they look at, like, our age and shit to, yeah. like, carry on, like, everything. Yeah. If we just say fuck it and leave it up to these six bonds. <laughs> we fuck, we bro. Like, up, we fuck, bro. I got to get me some money, bro. Like, yeah. I got to create something, like, that's going to, like, pre- like, have general wealth or, like, just shit. At least get me, get me rich or something, like, right. so my kids can be brought up to in a decent way, bro, because I... I don't see these niggas doing anything productive ever unless they like taking advantage of like this this digital media, you feel me? I mean, am I really overreacting though? Am I don't I? think so. I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> because bro. I hate to be the, the the get off my lawn type of guy, man, and be like, oh man, back in my day, it was like, nah, nigga, it was kind of That's what up. it's gonna be. Think but, about the shit we discussed, nigga. You got ride wave and shit spent. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in the jewelry store. That wasting niggas it. wasting it during a pandemic and shit. We got niggas doing cash at scams and shit. Shout out to the cash at scams. And motherfucking niggas unemployment scams. Dog, what the fuck? Nigga, we ran out of buffs. Niggas ran out of motherfucking Don Julio and Patron. Nigga, we ran out of buffs, Don Julio. Patron, they about to run out of Hellcats. Like, <laughs> they don't even make no more Hellcats, nigga. Y'all bought them all. That's what I'm saying. I could see nigga. if you getting over and saving to do something else, but these niggas are spending it as soon as they get Dude, it. They they got all types of motherfucking crab leg boils and lobster tails and, and fucking That's shrimps every fucking weekend, man. Nigga, it's only motherfucking five crab legs left in the sea, bitch, and you ate them all. What is she doing, bro? And I'm not to say, not to say that we wasn't doing the same type of shit, but like niggas always had some type of plan. Like you feel me? Why you bragging about that, Benz? You ain't used to toys. Niggas ain't used to shit, Spiff, man. Come on, man. My little bro told me like the shit that's happening right now is the equivalent of that Dave Chappelle skit when them niggas got reparations when old girl was like, hide the money, y'all. It's poor people around. When Cadillac, the Escalade dealership uh, went out of business and shit. Cause the niggas bought all the they Escalades. They bought all the Escalades and shit. Come on, man. That is man. funny, man. That shit is fucking hilarious. I'm seeing all these motherfuckers buying up all the motherfucking sticks, buffs, Cartier, mm-hmm. Buffalo Tusk, if niggas don't know. And niggas is out here buying jewels, nigga. Niggas is looking good. Niggas. But how long is that shit really gonna last, though, Spiff? I before don't niggas know. try to sell it. I'm telling you, like, bro, like, I wish them niggas the best, but I'm not putting no money on them niggas. Like, all right, the hold only- on. <laughs> let me let me tell you this shit real quick, man. And I'm gonna just keep it all where A G real with y'all niggas, man. I was on motherfucking, and this could probably. You know, going to like that whole Johnny Dang ride wave shit, man. Because I seen a, you know, a, a quote unquote, you know, a dope boy type of nigga that's getting money, that type of that shit. That nigga was on motherfucking Snapchat the other day. It was like, hey man, somebody come get this Rolex up off me, man. Twenty racks, man, out the dough. It's like, is it, is it really that fucked up for real, man? I mean, it may be, you know. And now we got these young niggas coming around fucking up the game, man. It's all about social media. Everything fake, bro. Like, I don't put it past nobody, bro. Shit could be real. Shit could be fake. I don't know. I'm just concerned about what the fuck I got going on. And I'm on the outside looking in, nigga. You talking to a broke nigga myself, nigga. I'm telling you, bro. I'm only, I'm only, you know, spectacate. What? what, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> spectacate. <laughs> speculate. Nigga, speculate, man. So, nigga, I don't know what niggas got going on, cuz, but... Mm-hmm. Nigga, stop out here doing goofy shit, nigga. We too them old to be acting like this, That's man. That's what I'm saying. It's extra disgusting when I see, like, niggas our age, like, 
trying to keep up with the times and shit. Like, we going to be us. We still yeah. young, you feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with enjoying yourself, but all this pointless flexing. You never really want to know. You yeah. want, never want to ne- let I another saw, nigga know I saw what you Mila got. Mila tweet, or it might have been Leah or whatever, and niggas would be like, uh, somebody tweeted, one of them motherfuckers tweeted like, yeah, nigga, you out here flexing on Instagram, but nigga, I know you in real, real life. life yeah, nigga, I seen like, that shit. Come on, man. Like, come on, bro. We it's know you in real life, dog. Especially to my niggas that's like, got families and... You feel me? Got some other shit going on with, with baby mama drama. It don't matter, bro. Right. Like, keep the family close. You feel me? Make your bag and then call it a day. A nigga don't really need to know, bro. That's why I'm, I mean, I'm still on Twitter, but I'm glad I deleted most of my social media, bro. Yeah, man. But we still got to get you to come back to social media, though, man. The only time when you see me hop back on, like, Instagram for sure. Just know I'm trying to get a bag or I already got a bag and I'm trying to like expand that bag, bro. Monopolize. I'm not, I'm, I'm not for it though, cause I know y'all niggas faking, bro. Like I can't I can't do that shit, bro. I can't be a look at me ass nigga, you feel nah, me? Nah, and one thing I feel like we try to do is not front. We don't wanna front for motherfuckers, mm-hmm. man. We don't wanna make niggas think that uh we out here trying to pump fake or mm-hmm. trying to show off more than what the fuck we got, man. Right. I mean, we some upstanding citizens, man. Yeah, man. I ain't got shit to show these niggas, man. I go to work every day, nigga, and come home and then get drunk. Nigga. And I'm proud about it too. And I'm nigga, I'd be happy. Proud, with... <laughs> what could you talk about, man? Spiff, man. What else we got on the motherfucking docket? Was that it, man? I think that was it, bro. Hey, man. But shout out to all twelve of the motherfucking Meet and Spiff podcast listeners, man. I told y'all niggas, man. We ain't gonna put out no bullshit, man. And I feel like I had to take the motherfucking uh, necessary effort to come and bump shoulders with my guy, man. Split floor. Definitely appreciate you, man. I know you're going to get a couple couple uh, rude texts nigga, and nigga, comments. Nigga, that's only here. because, nigga, my phone was already lighting up. Nigga, <laughs> I'll be going through this shit. You feel me? So I appreciate it. I know it's hectic on your end, bro. But, you know, I definitely value this time. I value the listeners, bro. We just trying to get better and, and get a motherfucking bag in the process, man. Absolutely, man. So if you haven't already, make sure y'all niggas go subscribe to Meech and Spiff on YouTube. Follow the Meet Your Spiff podcast Instagram page. Follow me on Instagram. You know, Eastside. Un- is it Eastside Michi? I don't know, nigga. Eastside Michi, you'll find me. And then um, make sure you follow Spiff on Twitter. Spiff Lord. Spiff Lord, man. So I love you. Spiff love you. And we appreciate all 12 of you motherfuckers for always listening, man. For sure. We up, man. Hey, Spiff. Can yeah. I call him one? No, nah, man. Nah, <laughs> all right, man. I ain't gonna call him one. Not, 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 nah, man. Not today. Not today. Man. <laughs> we just talked all that shit about <laughs> equality and racism and misogynistic ways and shit. No. We all bitch. <laughs>